Hillary, both Hillary's actually did a great job of that. That's what you said. It's okay. 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 It's
you look at the left side of the triangle, you'll see the core instructional program. And that's really the basis of why we're here, so that the kids can succeed academically. And, and what we, one of the, the challenges for community schools is ensuring that we can improve the academic outcomes for our kids. Right? That's why we're here. We want our kids to do well. We want them to go to college. We want them to be successful in life. On the right side of the triangle are the expanded learning opportunities. And that's a lot of the things that we as community agencies can bring to the table through after school programs, through pushing in during the school day, through before school, Saturday programs, after school programs, school breaks, having programs. Um, you know, our community schools are open 364, 365 days a year and open from 7 in the morning until 10 o'clock at night. It's not a 7 to 3 model. And, and, it, and it shouldn't be. This is at the heart of what we do in community schools. On the bottom of the triangle are the support services, mental health, medical services, vision, dental, um, all different kinds of things that our kids, that our families, that our communities need to thrive. And the most important part of the triangle, of course, is that the vertices of the triangle, so every corner, and that's where our strategy comes into play, is that we have a lead agency in each school and a community school director. And what the community school director does is just pull all these things together. The community school director is like that smartphone who's holding everything there and knows where the resources are and how to access the resources and how to connect people to them. So at the corners of the triangle, it's really important that all of these folks are talking to each other. So our community school director, for instance, you know, works so closely with the principal, and you'll hear this more because we have a team from one of our schools here today. Uh, but you have to be a partner with the principal, with the parents, with the community. And, and that's really what the model is about, what the strategy is about. So as you see, the principal is the leader of the school. So the principal's building, the principal is the driving force behind the academics of a school. But the principal can and shouldn't have to do it all alone. Teachers should, can and shouldn't have to do it all alone. It's, it's really about working together as a team. So these are key roles in our strategy for community schools, where we have a community school director, uh, program director. So the community school director is not the person who is designing and running or implementing the after school program, for instance. There's a program director who does that so that the community school director can focus on being the corners of the triangle. That's really the goal. And it's hard to, um, to do more than that. A parent coordinator, we have a parent coordinator here with us today. And what that does is really build parent engagement, helps bring parents into schools and help them feel welcome and give them real things to do while they're in school. Parents and students are at the, you know, at the center of everything we do, obviously, and community stakeholders, because like I said, it is really about bringing folks into the school and making it a hub in the community so that everybody can use it and everyone can benefit from the school. So some of our results, you know, we do have improved academic performance, which has to be at the top, because if we're not improving the academic outcomes of our kids, then we're really not doing our job well enough, because that really is what this is about. Uh, we not only improve student attendance, but teacher attendance as well. One thing in New York City that we're really working on right now is, is chronic absenteeism. So we're not just looking at average daily attendance anymore, we're looking at kids who are absent two days a month or more and trying to find out why they're absent and break, get rid of all the barriers that are keeping them from getting to school on a daily basis. And there's a lot of statistics and research done on the effects of absenteeism on school, on school performance. So that's one of our main focuses right now. Uh, we do surveys. Of course, if you have that, you're going to have higher graduation rates, increase, uh, improve behavior, lower suspension rates, um, obviously gains in positive development, parent involvement, and the bottom one being better use of public buildings in safer neighborhoods. Because what happens when you lose a school in a neighborhood, if you don't just lose a school in a neighborhood, you lose something that's, a, that's a, at the heart of the community and something that really should be at the heart of the community. And, and having something there that everybody in the community is using is going to improve the neighborhoods. It's not just about the kids in the school. And just like what we said, training teachers to teach and students to learn is really one of, one of our monsters that we go by. Um, you know, we talked about a lot about what we're going to talk about. All of these things that you see on your hands and focus on our community school strategy. There's a lot of talk these days about expanded learning, extended learning time, extended learning opportunities, and that's really at the heart of community schools as well.
So we're going to we're going to show a short video here, it's about nine minutes long, and uh, this is a video that was made by the George Lucas Center for Edutopia, and it was our first community school in Washington Heights, northern Manhattan, and our actually our team that's here today is all from this school in Washington Heights. So when we have a panel, you're going to be able to hear from them directly. But this video kind of really speaks to um, about how we started and what we do with our school. I don't know when they first started here, 
my son was in sixth grade, and that was the first time we had a music uh, program in school. And then now, listening to what they're playing now, it is a gigantic difference. It is such an improvement. It, they just grow as musicians, and a lot of them are finally looking into arts as one of their careers. They help us as performers and as students. Thank you. 
in our schools and universities.